the number one thing that makes this unique is the fact that we do take all the people through the kitchen to the tables. I don't think that you'll see that in any other restaurants. It's uh, basically an old Italian tradition that people were brought through the kitchens uh, before they went into the dining rooms to be Kind of like a tour of the kitchen type thing. We let them know where we uh, we make our garlic breads, bruschettas, and pizza. The type of pizza that we make is a Neapolitan crust, thin style pizza. We ask them to come this way as they go through the dining room. You can actually get a table in the kitchen sometime if you like. It's a uh, reserved table. It gets up to eight people. Um, people love to have it. They celebrate birthdays and anniversaries. Children love it. I can tell you that. Our hotline is here. It's uh, Mike Kinney's right there. Yeah, that's the Desserts and salads are made in this section here. And then we would proceed to see people in the dining room. Each dining room somewhat has a different theme to it. Um, you know, this is our kitchen area, all, all our kitchen table area. We, we call this, it's a, called our 40s room, no real reason for it, just number wise. Um, this is our cardinal room that we have here. You notice it's all decked out in red. Uh, you'll see the cardinal's hat, socks, the pillow, all pictures of different cardinals and bishops and things like that in this particular room. Um, it's also, we have our uh, Sinatra section over here uh, with Frank uh, and his pictures, so you can kind of sit there and enjoy dinner with him if you get this side of the table, of course. <laughs> you know, the place is, uh, is unique and all the pictures are, uh, are uh, done by our decor department. You'll see that some of them are very random shots of just old Italian, you know, you may even find relatives here that you didn't even know. Uh, and other ones are some famous people that we do have information about. Uh, so we do have explanations for some of the pictures, and some of them are just random shots. Um, this is uh, something all the kids seem to enjoy. There is quite a story behind that. Um, whether or not it's true or not, um, I can tell you that tale, but um, uh, it's part of our uh, time heritage. called our wine and vine room. If you look on the top, you see all sorts of bottles of wine. We have a tradition uh, where people drink a bottle of wine in this room, they sign it, and they put it up on the rack. This would be considered uh, a room that we call our poster room, uh, obviously because of the ceiling. Um, we do a couple large parties in the center. Um, it can also be turned into a, a room for meetings and that type of thing, but we normally do center tables. It can be as many as 12 to 20 in the center of the room. Now this room here is our Pope's room. It's the most famous room that we have in the restaurant. Uh, you'll see a Pope's room in every buka that you go into, um, except for the ones in Boston, I must say. Um, you know, it does have a Lazy Susan here in the center, so if you get a little... Uh, as for serving the food, you can kind of move it around here like this. Uh, fits as many as uh, 15. Uh, a lot of requests for this room. A lot of meetings happen tonight. Um, starting at uh, 5 o'clock or uh, 2.30, somewhere in there. But probably the most popular room that we have. Um, again, another room here. We call this our 70s room. Um, it's used large parties. can be set up any way you'd really like it. There's a lot of flexibility in this room. Um, it can be as many as four tables of 20. Um, it can be set up in seven, eight tables, round of sixes. Um, it can also be set up in individual deuces, fours, wherever. There's a lot of flexibility in here. We do a lot of parties in here um, also. It can also be set up in a U shape, so it's one table. Um, but this is a very versatile room for us, and we use it that way. Uh, for three, I should say. Um, this room here is called our 30s room. It's one of our smaller, but it's a very private room. Um, it can be set up in different shapes. Today we have it set up in a square for a banquet that we have tonight. Um, today this one seats uh, roughly 20 people, 25 set up in a square like it is. It can also be set up in a U shape to uh, take care of as many as 30. Uh, it's probably the most that you're going to see in a room like this. But this is, again, a private room that we would consider. But, um, this is our banquet room. Again, uh, today it's set up for what's going to be a meeting with a projector. Um, tonight at, um, at 7 o'clock, it's roughly set up for 21. 
uh, be able to do a presentation in here tonight. Um, there is, again, a lot of flexibility in this room with table-wise. Again, it's you know, a private room. Um, we've done music in here. We've done karaoke in here. Uh, we can seat as many as 80. Um, it can be set up in different uh, segments, tables of 20 to fit 60, round tables, um, square tables, whatever the guest requests is what we kind of do in this particular room. And it can be set up in a big U shape of about 45 at, at one table. The original question. You know, again, this is our bar area in here. Uh, all sports, uh, you'll see memorabilia. Uh, you know, some of the more famous photos that we have in, have in here is Jane Mansfield and Sophia Loren, everybody loves that. Uh, this is our melon pitcher that people <laughs> love. She actually was here. This is her, me and her uh, below. She was here a couple years ago. She came in and uh, signed the photo for us, actually, which was kind of fun. Uh, but the bar really is, 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 again, we seat it for dinner and it's also used for, for cocktail. Um, all right, at Buca de Beppo, we serve uh, family-style Italian food. Um, we have our portions set up in segments of uh, what we call buca small and buca large. A buca small feeds roughly two people, and a buca large feeds roughly four. Um, so you can get a, a little bit of variety. It's meant to be shared. Uh, the dinners come out in large bowls or large platters. They're kind of set around the table, and each person is kind of helps himself and is required to kind of share. Um, we also do have banquet menus available for large parties, as many as a hundred. Our, our price ranges are, are very reasonable. Uh, we do a lot of rehearsal dinners, bridal showers, uh, baby showers, that type of thing. Um, so Buka, I would say, is a very unique experience. I think you're going to enjoy the atmosphere, you're going to enjoy the service, you're going to enjoy the family style, and, and you're going to be enjoy being taken care of by our staff.